The Danube is the longest river in the EU and has long served as a boundary in much of Central and Southeastern Europe, where it has divided competing empires and states. In the 1990s, when Yugoslavia disintegrated after years of war, several republics emerged and some of the new borders were once again drawn along the river. Since then, Pandor Parzol's family farm has shifted between Croatia and Serbia, depending on the Danube's changing course. His land and others nearby are part of an ongoing dispute between the two countries. When I got married, I became a Croatian citizen for the first time, and I still am. I also received Serbian citizenship, so now I have both. Otherwise, I couldn't register my tractors. You know the procedures when you cross the border. They look, check, ask you what you carry, like do you have alcohol, cigarettes. We are not smugglers, we are farmers. For decades, Serbia has insisted that the international border between the two countries is marked by the Danube river bath. But Croatia disagrees, saying they are instead separated by the boundaries of the river towns. For Petar Maximovic, gone are the days when he could easily cross the river. According to some maps, we are in Croatia, and according to others, we are in Serbia. It's very complicated and stupid. I can't go see my friends who are here, just seven kilometers away. In 2018, the presidents of Croatia and Serbia pledged to seek international arbitration if they fail to reach an agreement by 2020. The deadline has since passed with officials blaming the delay on the pandemic. Meanwhile, residents here are still stuck in the middle, hoping for a solution. Abdul Wahab, TRT World.